Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Simon Volta with V Technologies. Um, I'm joined here by Sean Merkley from Fishbowl, uh, as well as Colby. Um, and uh, we're glad to have you all on the webinar today to kind of showcase both our, you know, the Fishbowl solution and how that can help uh, with your pick pack operation um, in your warehouse, and also the Starship solution uh, and how we can help streamline your shipping uh, platform as well. Um, so we're going to go through a quick presentation here, and we're going to kind of take you through a complete workflow um, of a demo um, from a sales order all the way to the shipping process, and hopefully that'll show you some value of what both solutions can do for you. So we are V Technologies. Uh, we are um, the manufacturer and distributor of Starship. Um, Starship is a multi-carrier application um, for your business uh, that's going to integrate directly with Fishbowl. Um, today, we're you know proud to announce we. Um, have our own direct interface with Fishbowl. Uh, we've been partnered with them since 2013, uh, but we finally uh, arranged a, our own new interface with Fishbowl with many enhancements uh, that we're proud to showcase today's in today's webinar. Um, Fishbowl is obviously the uh, number one manufacturer in inventory management software for QuickBooks. So if you're using QuickBooks Enterprise, QuickBooks Online, really any version of QuickBooks, you know Fishbowl can really help you that you know with uh, the pick pack inventory control piece of it, and Sean and Colby will go into that, you know, in their presentation here in a moment. Um, so six things you need to know about Starship. So again, as I mentioned, we're proud to announce that we have our new Fishbowl integration that um, you are able to take advantage of starting today. Um, we basically have a plug and play connector that reads and updates in real time. Uh, so there's no importing or exporting of data. So the minute that a shipment document or even a sales order is created, we can pull all that information in uh, and allow you to process either your parcel labels or your LTL BOL documents uh, that we're going to show here today. Um, we also are going to be able to ship against your shipment document after your pick and pack is completed, and that's the workflow we're going to show you today. Uh, but we also now can process your sales orders as well, so you don't necessarily need to have a shipment document created. We can create one on the back end when we post back into Fishbowl. Um, so again, that's something new and enhanced. Um, we also are going to update your status flag in Fishbowl. Uh, so we're not only going to write back tracking information or freight costs, uh, but we're going to mark the order as shipped. Um, so you don't have to click the button any longer inside of Fishbowl uh, to flag it as such. Uh, we hey, also Simon? have. Yes. Simon, sorry. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions regarding audio that um, some of the attendees can't hear the audio. Um, oh. I'm hearing you okay, and we're definitely, we've started it, so, oh, I, we've got a couple people saying they can hear us, and a couple people it. saying that they can't. <laughs> huh. Um, oh, something... let's see, some of the, thanks guys, we appreciate the feedback. Um, one person saying they can hear, and the person needs to click computer audio if you're using your computer yeah. audio. Otherwise, you Correct. need to um, call in with your phone. So maybe that's the problem there. That is correct. Okay, great. I'm going to let you continue then, because it looks like we're getting a lot of response saying that people can hear you. Um, and for okay. those that can't, either call in or click that computer audio button, and we should be good. Thanks, Simon. Sorry about that. Okay, no worries. Um, okay, so um, Starship, as I mentioned, is a single view for all your carrier options. So there's no longer need to use WorldShip or Ship Manager or any LTL platform you may be using today. Um, we're going to have all of those accounts inside of Starship, allow you to rate shop those orders, pick the carrier of choice, and then process those documents as needed. Um, we also do provide discounts for post office. So if you're using post office or looking to use post office, we can provide you discounted rates for those types of shipments inside of Starship as well. Starship has different types of rules um, that we can set up for you as well. Um, such rules are shipped via rules, um, where basically we can um, take a specific shipment and kind of use some logic built around it to, you know, for instance, if a shipment is over 70 pounds, um, use UPS ground. Or if a shipment is below 70 pounds, use post office. So we can do things like that um, using different types of rules. Uh, we also have things like freight rules where we can add markups to your shipping costs. So that way we can put that back into uh, Fishbowl 
Um, so that way it'll sync back into QuickBooks for you with the appropriate shipping costs that you want to charge back your customer. Um, and then we have different, different printing logic that we can also uh, produce certain documents uh, for you as well by customer. Um, so just again, just trying to simplify that whole shipping process at the end um, when you're having all these different portals that you might be using today. Um, and then Starship comes in the on-prem version. So meaning we're gonna load Starship there locally um, on a server where Fishbowl's running or Starship is gonna run in the cloud. Um, so the cloud solution for Starship is new in 2020. Uh, it works the exact same way as our on-prem solution does. Um, so you have the ability of running either platform. Um, so again, your choice of what platform you rather run on. So when we talk about ideal Starship customer that we look for and we like to talk to is really, are you a manufacturer or distributor? Um, if you are, um, are you doing parcel or an LTL shipping? If you're doing one or the other, you're still an ideal customer for Starship. Uh, if you're doing international exports, meaning air or ground, um, that's another ideal customer we target and Starship can help you produce all those international documents such as commercial invoices, uh, USMCA documentation, certificate of origin, et cetera. Um, we also can produce hazmat documentation as well. So your OP900s, um, the um, hazmat certificates needed, um, all of that is produced as well uh, for you out of Starship. And then we also have e-commerce connectivity as well with different shopping carts and marketplaces uh, that are on the market today uh, that we can also write back and update if you want us to. But typically when we work with Fishbowl customers, um, we typically will flow through Fishbowl and then those will be updated through Fishbowl from the e-commerce perspective. Uh, and then if you're rate shopping um, or shipping on multiple platforms, um, that's a perfect customer for us because what I'm about to show you here in the demo in a few minutes, um, the rate shopping capability, um, so uh, the ability to pick a carrier you want to use right in one screen in front of you rather than rate shopping it in five different platforms. <clears throat> and then lastly here for me, before I turn it to Sean, um, is really just a list of carriers um, that we support today. Uh, there's about a few dozen here uh, that we support on a direct basis um, between parcel as well as LTL. Um, so again, we do work with a couple different 3PL um, uh, platforms as well uh, that you can take advantage of. Uh, however, I wouldn't, um, you know, if you're looking at the screen right now and saying my carrier is not up there, um, it doesn't mean we can't work with them. We can. Uh, we do have a BOL module that we do offer for LTL that we can pretty much work with any carrier. We just can't do the rating inside of Starship. Uh, but we can still process the BOL and get the freight cost back into Fishbowl. And we can talk about that offline as well if we need to. <clears throat> so with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Sean, and he's going to kind of talk a little bit about Fishbowl and what it can do for you, and then he'll start off the demo here for us as well. Sean? Thanks, Simon. I just want to do a quick sound check. Can everybody hear me? Yep, I'm good. Okay, I can perfect. hear you. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you, Simon, for that um, introduction. We're super excited to do this webinar and, and um, have Starship and Fishbowl customers on the line. I know a lot of the people attending um, are looking for an LTL solution for Fishbowl, and I'm excited to kind of have this educational webinar for you guys just to learn how that all works. So just to introduce myself, I'm Sean Merkley. I'm a partner manager at Fishbowl and I've been here for about five years um, in total and super excited with this partnership with, with Starship and what we've been able to do. We've gotten a lot of traction over the last year uh, with mutual customers. And so just a brief introduction to Fishbowl for the Starship customers that are on this webinar. Um, we are the number one manufacturing inventory management so software for QuickBooks. We are a kind of a front end order management system and inventory system for QuickBooks users that are just not getting everything that they need out of the QuickBooks inventory uh, feature set. So we really enhance that and it's a pretty robust um, front end application to QuickBooks. And let me just go to the next slide here. So I just want to lead off. We, you know, Fishbowl. We integrate with so many industry-leading platforms. Um, one of the big things we do and we we make available to our customers is the ability to um, sync your orders with your uh, online platforms. We know today in today's world, 
a lot of selling is happening online. And so we've, we've enabled that in our system. So we integrate with Amazon and we can integrate with your website, Magento, um, Shopify is a big one. Um, and so we really, we really pride ourselves on being able to offer that as a fishbowl as a comprehensive solution. It's not just one piece that we can, we can incorporate, um, the e-commerce side and also now with Starship we have some enhanced shipping capabilities as well. Okay, so just a few things to know about Fishbowl. So we we pride ourselves on streamlining your operations, um, whether it's sales, purchasing, and even manufacturing. A big a big swath of our customers are manufacturing customers. They need to have their bill of materials. They need to, you know, you know, work do their work orders in Fishbowl, um, and so we we offer that functionality and that feature set. Um, we also have a mobile app called Fishbowl Go, and that that allows our customers to pick, pack, and ship orders from the from the shop floor or from the warehouse um, from their iOS or Android um, device. So. You can download Fishbowl Go on, on your iPhone or on a, a Zebra device and start scanning barcodes and picking your orders. We also, we, we manage the end-to-end -end, um, management of your orders. So, you know, we keep track of your work orders, your sales orders, your purchase orders, all inside of the Fishbowl platform. Um, we also have a QuickBooks and Zero integrations. So, once you complete those, those sales orders and purchase orders and manufacturer orders in Fishbowl, we send all of that accounting data and information to your accounting platform, whether you're on QuickBooks or Xero. And then last but not least, visibility and reporting. We have over a hundred canned or stock reports inside of Fishbowl, as well as we have a custom, um, custom report team uh, at Fishbowl that can build your reports however you like them, uh, however you want to see them, as well as our, our stock reports are pretty flexible. They can be modified to your liking. All right, and then just some, some additional capabilities of Fishbowl. So, you know, we went over barcode printing and scanning, um, bills materials. We can handle drop shipping. We can handle multiple units of measure. So, you know, Small businesses, small to medium-sized businesses, they have multiple units of measure that they're they're looking at, whether it's cases, packs, pounds, um, units, things like that. That's a big that's a big uh, feature for for QuickBooks customers coming over to Fishbowl. Um, we also can track your inventory in multiple locations. Um, so if you have multiple warehouses spread across the country, or just a couple warehouses on your um, you know, at your head headquarters, we can handle that um, and tell you exactly where your inventory is located. Also, we have multiple costing methods, um, pick routing, and then um, I think the big thing is manufacturing and for our customers is a big, a big feature that is something that really sets us apart uh, from QuickBooks. And, and so, and on the right-hand side, you can see all of the different uh, products that we offer in our product suite. So we have, you know, Fishbowl Warehouse and Manufacturing, those are our flagship products. And then we have some other, um, some other extensions, uh, if you will, to the Fishbowl platform. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hop into our demo and I'll kind of walk you through what it would look like in Fishbowl to take a sales order to the picking and packing step and then I'll hand it over to Simon to finish the shipping shipping part of the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a sales order. Right now, this is the Fishbowl interface. Um, we have, this is the sales order module uh, that you're looking at. This is where all of your, your sales orders are managed um, inside of Fishbowl. So, um, what you can what you can tell right right here with this sales order is, um, this is where you create your sales orders, modify, edit, 
um, and manage your sales orders. So here we have a, let me go, actually let me go and open, let's see. So if you, if you go to, um, let me try and find an order here. Okay, this is a, this is a good one. Um, so right now you can see on the right hand side, here's all of my order details and order information. So I have my customer, I have a date scheduled of when I want to um, start shipping this order out the door. Um, then I have right here below the customer information, I have the carrier that I want to pick and the service. So right now I have RNL and the service is LTL shipping. And, and again, for the customer, I got the bill to and ship to addresses here. Um, and then I have the line items on the sales order that I want to pick, pack, and ship. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna navigate to the picking module. So at the top, there's a pick button. I click that and it opens up my order in the picking module. I'm just gonna unpick this real quick, just to kind of show you guys what the workflow is going to look like. So here in the picking module, you can see we have different color codes and different status symbols. Um, it makes it easier for you to navigate through the whole picking process. So right here we have all these items are available. That, that green arrow there indicates that I have this inventory in stock um, ready to be picked for this order. So there's a couple different things, couple different details I would like to just point out real quick with Fishbowl. Um, so if you go up here to our module options, um, we can really, really get into the nitty and gritty with how we are picking orders and how these orders are displayed. But you know, when it comes to picking methods, we have multiple ways to, to pick your inventory. We can do it on a FIFO basis, a LIFO basis, or a pick to clean. So you can see there's also a lot of other settings here um, that really enhance the picking process inside of Fishbowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this order. There's a finish button here at the top and that will pick the entire order for me in one click. Or if you, you can also do partial picks um, if you would like to, if you don't have all the inventory available, you can do partial clicks uh, in the picking process. Or you can just, um, pick one line item, line item at a time uh, with these buttons on the right hand side of the screen. Um, so let me go ahead and finish this pick. Okay, and it's it's prompting me to uh, to identify what serial number I want to pick out of inventory. So you can see it, it shows me all these serial numbers that are associated with this inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and select the needed amount. I needed to pick two serial numbers. I'll hit next. I'll do the same thing here. I'll select the three serial numbers I need for that, that item. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. Okay, so that finishes the pick for me inside of Fishbowl. And now the, the order is ready to be packed and shipped. So the next step is to go to the shipping module. I can do that by clicking the ship button. And it takes me into uh, the shipping module. And then one thing one thing that's nice is every time you go to a different module, it opens up a tab here at the top. So I can easily navigate back to the sales order or back to the picking module um, and, and, and navigate just by doing one click. So here we go. Here we are in the, in the shipping module. Um, and I'll just show you, this is kind of just displaying, okay, here's all the inventory that's located. Uh, or that's inside of this carton. You can put multiple cartons on here. I'm just gonna leave it as one. And then you can see the carrier and the carrier service carried over to the shipping module. So Fishbowl knows that this is gonna be an LTL shipment. Um, and then the next step, I'm just gonna click pack here at the top to pack this shipment. Okay, um, and there's different prompts in Fishbowl. So this says, the order has not yet been paid. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm gonna say yes, but it's a good, it's a good fail safe just in case 
um, we, we need to get that order paid by the customer. And then here we can preview the packing list inside of Fishbowl. This will be the packing slip that you put inside of the, the carton or the package that you're shipping. And it has all the order details. You can put your logo and your company name and information there at the top as well. It also has a barcode here, because so all that just that just streamlines the barcode or the picking and packing process um, that you can do with the Fishbowl Go application. Okay, at this point, I'm going to hand it over to Simon to do the last step of shipping. All right. You can hear me okay? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, all right. Well, thank you, Sean, for that. And um, yeah, so now that we have a shipment document that's been created, um, I'm just going to save this just in case we don't have any issues here. Um, but once we go and have a shipment document that's been created, um, as I mentioned earlier, we can basically um, pull a shipment document um, from Fishbowl um, or we can process a sales order, right? So we're going to talk about shipment workflow here. Um, so once the order has been saved, um, it's automatically going to update. You can see it's listed in the middle here. Uh, but basically, once you log into our Starship application with your user ID and password, you're going to be brought to basically um, a lookup screen, a home screen, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, and you're going to see all your available orders that are ready to be shipped. Um, so this gives your shipper the ability to say, okay, I can go down this list and just start processing. Um, we can set filters inside of Starship here, and you could filter on any one of these columns, right? So you can see you have a whole list of columns that are across the top that you can filter on. So if you want to look only for bike world and process your bike world orders, you can do them all together here. Um, if you don't want to add any filters and you have a barcode, as Sean mentioned, um, we can easily scan that barcode from the shipment document into this field here, and we can hit enter and it will automatically pull all the information in. Um, if no barcode exists, all we simply need to do is come over to the right, use our little shortcut, this little truck icon. We click it once and all of our information, oops, click on, hold on. Um, so once, ooh, what's going on here? Hold on, let me go back to fish. I think there's something wrong with that order that we just processed. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna um, just process a different order here because I think something happened with that order we were just processing. Um, but if we process order 110, I think it has all the same information. Um, so we're gonna process order 110 and um, we're gonna pull the information in and have everything in one screen for you. So again, because Starship's that multi-carrier application, we don't need to use all these different platforms you might be using today. So from top to bottom, it's gonna always show you what your sales order or your shipment number is uh, that's listed up top. We have our apply charges that are listed here as well. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, um, what that actually means. And then we have our transportation tab. This is gonna pull in your ship via um, that's been selected in that carrier and carrier service field in Fishbowl. Um, so if we click into here, um, just to show you some of the fields that we have uh, available for you and for LTL, um, we have basically the shipping account information, right? So what account are we billing transportation charges to? We're going to default to prepaid, but in case if you're billing collect or third party, uh, we do have the ability of choosing that option here and then basically allowing you to choose third party and then entering an account number if you want to. Uh, my suggestion would be to set up third party IDs inside of Starship that we can map the account information from Fishbowl in and then have that tied appropriately inside of Starship. So that way it defaults it to third party based on the company that we're looking for that you're trying to ship to. So again, that would be my recommendation when you come to third party shipping. Uh, but in case if you're just shipping prepaid, um, we're gonna show you those negotiated rates that you have um, and then those applied rates as well. Um, applied rates are basically uh, using our freight rules I mentioned earlier. So I have a 30% markup across the board that I'm charging all my customers. That's what I'm gonna put back into Fishbowl when I process that inside of that order. Um, I'm just covering any miscellaneous charges. Um, we do have the ability of you know, using different rules for different customers. Um, so some people like to offer free shipping or maybe a per package cost. We don't restrict you on what types of rules you can have. That's all up to you. Um, then down at the bottom here, we have a tendering option. So it's gonna to default to electronic, but if we wanna you know, set it to call where you're gonna call the carrier for a pickup or have a daily pickup, you can do that. Electronic just basically means that when you hit that ship and process button down at the bottom, um, we're gonna basically send all the information to this case, RNL, 
um, for your ready date, how many pallets, the dimensions, the weights, uh, ready times, all of that will be put into the API call that we make um, so they can send the appropriate uh, equipment and your truck in uh, to make that pickup. Um, you'll notice the ready date is listed here. So in case you're future um, dating any shipments or you're putting some pallets together for tomorrow, you can do that here with basically the ready uh, date. Um, so you can pick any date in the future and start processing your pallets there. And then also your ready time. So you can choose any time that the order is going to be ready. I recommend giving a couple hour window for the carrier to make a pickup um, and then make sure you put your close time. You don't want the carrier coming in after everybody's left the building. Um, so always make sure that this is set as well. Uh, the BLL number field is a reference number that Starship auto generates. That's all it is. Uh, it's not a trackable number. The pro number in this case. Um, so uh, a lot of the carriers that we work with will support a pro number in return in their API, and that will be put onto the BOL document itself, as well as what gets put back in Fishbowl. Uh, in case if the uh, carrier doesn't support a pro number in their API, in their API um, we can basically uh, auto generate that pro for that carrier. It's just a setting and setup that we need to do for that specific carrier. But again, uh, in this case, RNL will auto generate the pro number. So we'll just use what they're providing us uh, on the API call back. Um, and then basically uh, the shipment detail section will just list all your different accessorials available. So from lift gates to limited access, all of the appropriate accessorials will be listed here. You'll just check that box and basically see any lift gate at delivery. That'll be put into your rate quote, but also more importantly, it gets dispatched to RML to make sure that they have a lift gate on the delivery itself. Uh, so there's no, um, uh, issues with the delivery and the delay of the shipment. Up in the upper right, we have basically our ship two information coming in from Fishbowl in this case, Bike World with that Dallas, Texas address. We do an address validation for uh, not only LTL, but we also do it for your parcel orders as well. Uh, this is the green checkbox, is just verifying the street address and zip code. We also do a secondary validation for um, residential versus commercial. So especially on those UPS and FedEx bills you may receive, you might see some address corrections. Those we're trying to minimize or not get rid of. Um, we do tie back into the post office on the back end here um, to verify the different addresses that might be associated to the one you're trying to ship to. Um, if there's an error, a box would pop up here and giving you options to choose or keeping original if you feel 100% confident that is correct. Um, and the nice thing about the shipment uh, workflow with Fishbowl is that because we've already packed it accordingly, uh, in this case, I have multiple boxes here on this specific order, um, but basically here, I pack two items in one and one in another. Um, so basically here, I have my box as a packaging type. You'll notice Starship does support different um, databases, one being a packaging database, not only for your boxes, but also for your pallets. So we can store all your different dimensions and weights in here. Um, and then also we can store your pallet dimensions as well, um, if you want us to do that. Um, in here, because in this particular order, I uh, packed two items in one box and one in another, that's how it's automatically going to come into Starship. That's the nice uh, thing about the shipment workflow is however you packed it, we're going to pull it in. Um, if you're going to use our sales order workflow, you will be able to move items around in the different cartons. Uh, in the shipment workflow, you won't be able to move anything without going back to Fishbowl to make that modification. Um, so just keep that in mind. I should also mention that the uh, box dimensions are also the ones you see listed here. We can either have you enter them manually uh, or use the box uh, that you've chosen or map them in from Fishbowl into the carton, uh, from the carton inside of Fishbowl. So whatever you set as your carton types, that's what the dimensions are gonna show here. Um, so you don't need to mess around and pick the different box type. We can just automatically pull those in from Fishbowl as well. Um, and then basically, um, the nice thing with Starship, you're going to hear a lot about line items. And the reason we use line items is because we store information, especially when it comes to LTL. Um, we want to have all the NMSC codes and class information specific to the item number. Um, so this is what we're going to use for rating. Um, and it's also going to be put onto the BOL document. But each item will have its associated NMSC code in class. This is information you'll have to enter the first time. This will automatically be saved for you. Um, and this is, um, will be used for future shipments on a specific item. Um, if we were shipping internationally here, we'd have an international tab listed here as well, uh, where we store your Schedule B for the item, uh, any uh, commercial or, um, certificate of origin and USMCA forms will also be stored on the item itself. Uh, so you don't have to auto um, or populate those each and every time yourselves. 
And then the total charges section are basically just showing you what the ship via was brought in as. This came in RNL. So we're going to show you your negotiated rates with RNL in this case at $197. The applied rates I already mentioned are taking advantage of that markup that I have set behind the scenes. So this is the number I'm going to write back to Fishbowl. Just again, cover any of those miscellaneous charges you may not be accounting for at the time of shipment. And then if you're not happy with what RNL is providing you, you always have the ability of uh, rate shopping it before we ship it. So just like we did address validation on the uh, import of the order, we can also set um, different rules here where we can use different scenarios that says, hey, find me the cheapest option. And we could do that um, automatically for you once you bring the order in. Or if you want, you can use a little button here, click it once and basically says, you know, shop all my carriers that are on my license. And then we're gonna show you from lowest to highest, what are your cheapest options in this case? So here kind of, you know, you could see what we've done here. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Um, so what you can see is RNL is coming second in line. It's going to return also the transit time for you as well, along with your negotiated rate and those applied rates. But you can see right above it, my Estes rate is coming in about uh, $17 cheaper, but it's going to take two additional business days to get there. So I have a decision I want to make. I can either choose the cheaper option and get it there slower. If I wanted to, I could just check the box here. This will turn it back over to my Estes account, and I can now print my Estes BOL. Uh, for this particular shipment. So this is where we're going to save you that time of trying to rate shop your different carriers. And you'll also notice that we can show you different parcel rates, again, for those orders that are on a cusp um, that could go parcel. Um, some of you might be using UPS with ground freight pricing. You'll notice that Starship does support that as well here. So we're showing you that as an option as well um, to ship it that way if you prefer. And then our last step here is basically the ship and process function. Um, you can hit F3 or the ship and process button below. And then basically we're gonna get our shipment docs to print. Um, and then the write back will occur into Fishbowl automatically as well. So in Starship, we mentioned we have a couple different printing options. Um, we have one where we can use the RNL BOL in this uh, case. They're returning that back in their API uh, call to us. Um, so we can use the document they're presenting here. So we have our ship from, we have our ship to information that's processed. Notice the pro number here. That's what's already been put onto the shipment. That's what's gonna get put back in Fishbowl for you. Um, so we don't need a book of pros any longer um, or anything like that. Those will all go away for you. Um, we also put in any quote number that's associated to the shipment and then all the commodities um, from the shipment are listed here as well, along with their corresponding NMFC and class information and weights. So that way you could just sign the bottom and give this off to your driver. Um, Starship also supports pallet labels for those of you who might be interested in that where we can have a pallet label on each side of the pallet, where we could put a barcode, ship to information, maybe a PO number, um, you know, whatever you like on that label, we can generate that label for you um, in case if this document were to get lost during transit. If you don't like that document and you want to use our document that Starship produces, same information, just looks a little differently. This would also be the same document we would use for any, say, third party type of shipping or any of those carriers we don't support directly today in Starship. Uh, we're always going to list that carrier up top, the pro number, the BOL number that's auto-generated, and then the same information, all the commodities, class, and weights. And then Starship, um, I know Fishbowl supports a packing list feature. Um, Starship also supports the packing list feature. So um, this is something that's sort of out of the box, what you would receive from a shipment perspective. Um, if we want to customize this and maybe put a logo here um, and add some additional fields, we can do that for you. Um, so again, up to you, but you don't have to print a packing list from Starship. If you're comfortable with one that's printed in the fishbowl, by all means, please use that. <clears throat> and then lastly here, if I go back into my uh, 110 order here, you'll notice again in real time, you'll notice at the carton level that we listed that pro number here. The pro number is also put down at the bottom here for you, along with that freight cost. And then basically we updated that ship flag as well from enter to ship. Okay, we won't for LTL, just so you know, because we had two cartons on this order in carton two, you won't see a pro number or a freight cost just because it's part of one shipment. However, in parcel, both of these would be filled out different tracking numbers for different packages along with the freight cost. So that's the one difference between parcel and LTL. And then just lastly, very quickly, before I kind of open up to some questions, I do want to just show you a couple additional features here that Starship does have. Um, so we have um, a full dashboard as well um, that you can use. 
Um, so here I have something that I like to show is kind of my heat map um, that is part of the dashboard. Uh, this is in real time where you can sort of see your shipments where they're going across the country. Uh, so kind of where I'm in red, I'm kind of heavy, um, but where I'm not showing any points, I'm kind of weak. I don't have any shipments going there. So really where sales and marketing can you know, use their um, strategies to figure out how we get into different markets across the country. So this is kind of neat um, and kind of gives you that visibility you may not have today. Uh, but just like Fishbowl, we have a bunch of different charts and graphs that you can run at any time. Just by clicking one of these, it'll just load them up easily. Um, and you can see exactly what you, know, you have going on from a week over week basis. And then basically, lastly, we also have the ability of sending out your um, email notifications to your customer. So in um, a tool that we call eNotify, um, where basically we can see that specific order. So I'm going to pull up the one that we just recently did here, just to give you an idea what one looks like. Um, but basically, we allow you to design these templates however you like. One for parcel, one for LTL. You can have different templates set for different customers. Um, but again, you can put your logo here if you want, um, just thanking them for their order telling them what carrier has their shipment, their pro number in this case as well. So they can you know, take this and go back into RNL's website and track it on their own. Um, and then also maybe inserting a table, uh, giving them all the information of what was on that pallet um, for, those specific, um, for that specific shipment. Um, also an estimated time of delivery. Um, and then I'm also just telling them, hey, come back to my website for future discounts um, as well, uh, to track future sales. You can also attach a variety of documents. So we have, everything from a packing list to a BOL uh, to some international documents, whatever you're trying to produce from Starship, we can attach those to, to this email uh, for you. Uh, we also have the ability of attaching some external documents as well um, that you might be interested in um, attaching. So again, whatever you like in there in the setup piece um, for that template, you'll t exactly tell us what documents you want to have attached and those will go out to these specific customers that you have on here. And then lastly, you have the ability of dispatching these at the end of the day or at the time of shipment. So that way um, you can either get those out right away um, or you can have those at the end of the day once the carriers have picked up. And that way you feel comfortable in case if someone doesn't pick up and you don't have these emails going out the door um, without any warning. So, um, so again, we want to make sure that the customers are getting their products. Um, and if you can, you can turn those off. So again, they don't get those uh, notifications when the shipment hasn't even left your building. So with that being said, um, we have about 20 minutes left in the webinar, so I'm gonna sort of turn it back to Caroline, but that's all I have. Awesome. Um, well, I, we appreciate everybody taking time out of their afternoon to take a look at Starship and the integration to Fishbowl. Um, thanks to Sean and Colby for um, joining us. We really appreciate that as well. It's great to see you guys and have you guys on the webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Simon, for the, for the webinar. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, we appreciate you guys and uh, appreciate everyone jumping on and hopefully you learned a little something last hour and uh, we look forward to speaking to all of you. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Take care.